Whereas we have Inform Fakir and Inform Allison Genie. Now, I was I was looking at Inform Fakir. I was like, yeah, okay. You know, he looks pretty decent. Doesn't look too bad. So that's a pretty good. By the way, he has absolutely plummeted from when I bought him. I bought him when rewards came out. I was like, you know, if I buy him now, he'll go up over the weekend. And then I'll be able to use him in a video over the weekend and stuff. But... No, he, he just he just plummeted, absolutely plummeted. But yeah, I was just like, you know, in fourth K, it looks alright. And then I looked at him from Alessandrini, and I was like, what? What? It's he's gone like plus, he's gone up like plus ten on like everything. I, that's what it seems like anyway. Like apart from pace, he's just it, the upgrade he has been given is absolutely ridiculous, and he looks like the best French right right winger on the game, pretty much. Well, as of right now, anyway. Four star skills, four star weak foot, good work rates. Can't really complain about the workers. 91 shot power, 86 curve, 96 agility, 95 balance. Like, his in game stats are actually ridiculous. And I, I I just looked at his card, I was like, wow. Like, <laughs> wow. I think his, his physical went up loads as well. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this team. We'll get into a game, but just for now, here are the custom tactics. It's pretty much the same as last video, I think, anyway. I can't remember. It might, it might be. It should be. But yeah, 55 speed. Rest default. Let's get into a game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Premier League team. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I love playing against Premier League. He's got left mid and right mid. A left forward and right forward. I don't even think they get full chemistry like that. I'm pretty sure he has like six chemistry on that left forward and right forward. But obviously he doesn't care. And no doubt this guy's going to beat me. Good start. Good start. Delft with an absolute banger into the top corner. <laughs> I swear to God, man, I played against Delph in one of my videos not too long ago at Cam. And I was like, oh, I'm not too sure about Delph at Cam. And yet he still scored against me. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure it was in the video. Either way, I, I played against Delph at Cam and he scored a banger. And now he's just scored another banger, you know. Why not? That's it for Kia. Over to Baldi Dial. That's it. I didn't want it to Alessandrini, to be honest. But that's a pen. That's a pen all day long. I knew it was. Sometimes FIFA doesn't give that. Like, those penalties, they, FIFA just doesn't give them for some reason. Like, you'll be halfway through a Berber spin, and someone will literally come in and slide tackle you. Like, you're halfway through a Berber spin like I was there, but they will completely take you out or just get none of the ball, and yet they will still manage to, to, to not give away the penalty. So, yeah. Anyway, let's take this with Fakir. Let's go. Let's go. Nice little pen from Fakir just inside the post. I always, uh, penalty tactics. I really shouldn't be telling people this because if you ever come up against me online, you're going to know what my penalty tactic is. But basically, I aim down the middle to begin with. And now I just, at the last second, I switch to either side of the goalkeeper. Because you can tell which way a player is going if you if you move left or right. Because you'll see the little head tilt. So if you, if you're moving left or right to begin with, Someone will know which way you're going. Obviously, you could just go left and then switch to right. But, yeah, not a lot of people do actually do it. Oh, he's made a boo-boo. Alessandrini. He will finish that with his four-star weak foot. I don't know why that guy gave away the ball. One thing I do love about I know I shouldn't really care too much about it. But one thing I do love is that Alessandrini has a game face. Because he plays for LA Galaxy. So, obviously, all the LA Galaxy, because of the journey, they have game faces. So... Yeah, Alessandrini looks looks good. He's got his, he's got his black boots that he used to wear in like FIFA 12 as well when he had a silver a really good silver card. I love how he's still got those boots. Alessandrini, let's go. I've caught this defender too square to him. Nice. Oh, Alessandrini, let's go. Three one. Alessandrini feels really nice on the ball. I'm really liking him so far. He's just he's got that agility and that dribbling just to go with his pace, and that's exactly what you want. I think I put a sniper card on Alessandrini just to improve his dribbling and shooting that a little bit better. Because I don't think he really needs much more pace, does he really? 93 pace, I don't think you really need that much more on top of that. But that was nice from Alessandrini. I love that spin, by the way. The quick one, like the reverse Berber spin, where you do it really quickly. I love it. It's so effective in some situations. Nice. Baldo Diao over to Fakir. That's it. Fakir! Oh, nice little finish. Get in there. I, I didn't really think Fakiro striker would work, but he has got the strength, to be fair to him. He's got the strength, and he's got jump really high jumping, I think, as well. So, yeah, he's working well so far. He's make, making nice runs, playing in passes to the wingers and stuff like that. So, happy days. Fakir, there we go. Finally, finally got the goal. There we go. 
5-1. This guy has been slide tackle spamming like absolute crazy. I don't know how he keeps getting away with it either because I'm just like shielding the ball. He'll go straight for the back of me, but he'll win the tackle. He's so stupid, but I will take it. 5-1 for Keo with a nice little goal. He thought I was going to finesse that. He was spamming the hell out of B trying to block me. Alessandrini. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. He can hit finesse shots. That's that's nice. I'm very I'm very surprised by that. I didn't expect it to go in because he was almost standing still. Like, watch this. I, I literally just pass it to him. He's standing still. That is ridiculous. Let's go. I would say the 6-1 win for Kia was clinical there. Four shots, three goals. Not too bad. I really enjoyed that team that game. So, yeah, let's get straight into another game, man. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Lacazette, Cam. Okay, but, yeah, full Premier League team. Really, uh, Hunter card on Kyle Walker. Fair enough. That, that, that just sums it up, really. He's just trying to get pace on everyone. Apart from Danny Rose for some reason. Of, of all his defenders, he's not put a pace card on Danny Rose. Ah, oh, interception city. It doesn't even matter how many times you intercept the ball because they will just get it back. That is... Oh, I, I saw a Reddit post summing up this game so much and how random, like, generated it is. Like, it all depends on how... What, what kind of animations you get on your defenders and stuff like that to whether you can intercept the ball, whether you can tackle them properly. It's so random. I did. I haven't even pressed a button. I have. Like, I wasn't even logged on to him. He has his players literally ran into mine and got a penalty for it. What is? What even is this game, man? I can't believe he has actually got a penalty for that. I. My God! Just ran into my player. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I just, I, that's it, Alessandrini. Alessandrini, let's go. Two one, back into the game. I think I think we can get back into this. This guy isn't the best defending. He's he's playing that ultra high pressure. Like I, this is the first time actually this year where I played that, where this is like super like high pressure and I can't get away from it. I haven't had too much of a problem this year with it. That's it, Baldé Dial. Baldi Dial, please finish this. And, oh my god, it's gone in. What? How? Like, I can't believe this. Because the amount of saves that Butland has made when I have been one-on-one -on -one this game has been ridiculous. He has pulled off some stupid saves. Even nearly saved that. Alessandrini, come on. Yes. Yes. Get in there. I'm so happy I'm beating this guy because... I don't know what it is, but he feels like the game is on, on his side. I can't wait. I've not been able to win a 50-50 all game like any sort of header or any sort of second ball i have not been able to win all game and it's just annoying it feels like they, honestly this guy is ultra high pressure and this is the first time this year that it's actually worked because my players are taking horrible touches and something doesn't feel right this game I'm done. What else are you meant to say? It's so stupid. This is what I mean by it feels like the game's on his side. He takes a shot. It deflects into the box. Takes another shot. He bounces off my defender back to his player. And just bounces back to him. Or every single time. He just keeps bouncing back to him. It's all it's been this whole game. I just don't know what to do. I, it just feels like I am against the opponent and the game. He's had so many shots as well. So many long shots. It, that's why the stats were like that, because he's just had so many stupid long shots. Penalty shootouts, yay. Looking forward to this. Yes, let's go for Kia. 1-0. Well, 1-0 on penalties. Come on, I, I, I'm not even sure I can beat this guy in penalties. Everything's just gone his way this game. I just, I don't know what to think. Oh, he's hit the post. Yes, that's the only way I'm beating this guy is if he hits the post. Straight down the middle, come on. Oh, how is he saved that? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you actually serious? Are you actually... He, he does it. He does it. And my keeper doesn't somehow hit it with his standing foot. I can't believe he's done that. I actually... Nearly happened again. 
His keeper saved it with his standing foot a minute ago. Are you actually serious? Let's go. Come on. Saved it. Let's go. We can do this. Come on, Fabinho. Let's go, Fabinho. Come on. I think we just need to save one more, don't we? I think so. If I save this. Wow. Okay. That was... Uh, that was a bit strange. Fair enough. Like, the game ended so quickly that it didn't let me celebrate or anything. It, like, just... What are you, that was that was just weird. Anyway, I will take the win because I I deserve the win. I know you might have saw, seen the stats later early on in the game, but honestly, those stats were just him taking long shots. People do that so often as well. Like they'll take loads of long shots, so they've got loads of shots on their stats, and then they'll message you. They'll be like, "Oh my god, I deserve to win that game." It's like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Just because you took loads of shots does not mean you deserve to win that game. And it was the same this time. He didn't deserve to win the game. He felt like I was playing against the computer. Well, he felt like I was playing against the game as well as him. It was so weird. Like, he kept winning every 50-50 and stuff. Let's get into one last final game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Ooh, he's got a screen card in there. He's also got a random silver non-rare center back. Interesting. But, yeah, he's got Neuer. What a, what a strange team. Like, he's got some pretty decent expensive players. But then he's just got... I, I, don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, he's in. He's in with Aubameyang and he's scored. As soon as he's in with Aubameyang, he's scored. Bad defending from me. I've dominated him up until then. That's literally his first attack that he's had. Sad times, but I think we can I think we can get back into this. Alessandrini, I'll take the deflected goal. I, I probably should have gone in anyway because I did a low-driven finesse. I uh, probably would have gone in the bottom corner anyway. I, I hope at least. But I will take the deflected goal. Does it still count as Alessandrini's? It probably should, because I think it was going on target. So I think it, I think it will count as Alessandrini's goal. Or will it? I, I need to see if it will or not. Right, let's go, Alessandrini. Let's see what you got. What you got from free kicks? You've put it in the back of the net. Let's go, Alessandrini. Yes. He, I know he's got. I think he's got. What is it? 86 free kick accuracy. So I knew he had decent free kicks because he's got 91 power. I think it's 86 accuracy and like 86 curve, which is just. It's pretty decent, to be fair. So, he, he can take free kicks for you as well. Not a bad free kick either. Hard to stop. Beautiful from Fakir. Over to Ans Alessandrini, please. Oh, my God. How his defender is getting back and making these sort of interceptions without him even controlling them as well. Absolutely ridiculous. See, this... I, I hate this game sometimes. I, I hate it so much. I go up one, I go up one end... And I, I get a cutback opportunity and his defender does like some crazy automatic interception. He goes up the other end. I'm manually controlling my defender. I am reading the pass. I am right there ready to intercept the pass. But the pass still, still somehow gets through to Werner who then scores. It's like what the Reddit post said. This game is completely random generated. It is completely random. It's just completely luck based. It's absolutely crazy. Like manually defending, you had to you had to actually manually defend before the patch came out. Now it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter whether the whether you're controlling your centre backs, whether you're manually defending or not. It doesn't matter because your your defenders just do everything for you. That's it, Fabinho. Over to Fakir. Fakir, you need to be finishing that. But I will take it with Baldi Diaw. Fakir should have definitely finished that to be fair. I think it might have just been a good save. I need to see it back just to see if it was a good save or whether Fakir missed the chance. Uh, I think it was a good save though. Let me have a look. Uh, it doesn't even show it unfortunately, but I think pretty sure it was a decent save from Noya. He does have Noya to be fair. It's a pretty, pretty good goalkeeper. Oh God. To be fair, that was bad defending by me. I can't complain about that one. That was genuinely just bad defending. But the amount of times I read his passes before that passed through to his player, it's just ridiculous. I, ju I just don't know what to do. The gameplay is so bad today. So bad in Daily Knockout. It's so awful. This is why, really, I should just play Seasons. Forget Daily Knockout, because the gameplay... Just like foot champs, it's completely inconsistent. Well, lost 4-3. You can't win them all, especially when the, the game plays like that. You definitely cannot win them all. And, yeah, I, 
I can't say I'm, I'm, I can't bring myself to say that I deserve to lose that because that would be very very wrong. But yeah, that let's just get out of this game and just try and forget about it. Right, so I'm gonna be completely honest straight away. I don't like him for Fakir. He might be better at Cam. He probably is better than at uh, Cam. But striker, he doesn't cut it, and the reason is, it's it's as simple as that. It's his pace. Like it, it's his pace. The pace, pace matters so much on this game. It's actually crazy. Like this is, this is the one FIFA where I think pace has mattered more than anything. Like last year, yeah, fair enough. Fast players were you needed fast players. You needed fast players in every single FIFA. Whereas this year, it just feels like you, <laughs> you need. Nothing but pace. You don't need strength. You don't need dribbling. You just need pure pace, pure raw pace. Although dribbling does help because dribbling's pretty decent. If you've got if you've got good dribbling, you can go past players easier. So really, so yeah. But pace it seems to matter so much more this year. And for Kier, he got three goals and three assists in three games. One of them was a penalty, and I just I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy him because strength obviously doesn't matter this year. Not even in the slightest. It feels like strength means absolutely nothing. So I wouldn't play for Kira uh, striker in my opinion. Just don't even bother. Play him at cam and yeah, you make you make use of his playmaking abilities because a uh, striker he doesn't cut it. Apart from his pace though, he feels really nice, really agile. His dribbling feels nice and smooth. He has I have no problems with his dribbling. His shot felt pretty decent as well for what well when I did manage to get a shot. Because, honestly, 80 pace, it sounds crazy because, to me, I could use an 80 pace striker last year if he had strength. Whereas, Fakir's got nearly 80 strength and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter even in the slightest. I've used so many strong players this year, it just doesn't even matter. Like, strength is non-existent this year. And, yeah, shooting-wise, when I did get in the position, he felt pretty decent. And his passing, obviously, is really, really nice. He got three assists. Alessandrini was the better of the two, without a doubt. He scored seven goals in three games. And guess why he's the better player? It's because he has pace. Honestly, this, this guy is lightning quick. It's because he has pace. It's the only reason he feels better than Fakir, in my opinion. His dribbling and stuff feels exactly the same as Fakir's. His shooting seems... To be fair, his shooting feels a little bit better than Fakir's. And, yeah, I don't know. His passing just seems just as good as Fakir's. So, really, I would just get this Alessandrini if I was thinking about buying either of them. Because this Alessandrini is so much better. Lightning quick. Dribbling, agility, especially his agility. He can weave in and out of opponents so easily. His agility and balance is, is top notch. And, yeah, shooting-wise, I had no problems. When I did get one-on-one -on -one with him, he finished it. So, happy days, really. And passing-wise, obviously. I know he got no assist, but I just kept cutting inside and shooting with him. Because his shot felt really, really nice. Especially that 91 shot power. You can definitely tell he's got really high shot power. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new. Twitter's always down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.